Let's make our crispy rosemary chicken with white barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna start by mixing together one cup of panko and a tablespoon of minced fresh rosemary. I'm also gonna use the zest of one whole lemon. Then I'll add in one teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'll just give that a good stir. Now I just need to toast the panko mixture. I'm heating my pan over medium heat and adding in some ghee, which is just clarified butter. If you don't have ghee, you can always just use olive oil, but ghee will add a nice buttery flavor. I'm just gonna keep the panko moving so it doesn't burn. You don't wanna step away or you can burn the breadcrumbs. And you just wanna do this until it has a nice light golden brown color. All right, that looks good. I'm just gonna place this in a shallow dish and let it cool. So you can see it's this nice light golden brown color. So next I'm just gonna prepare the chicken. Now I have four boneless skinless chicken breasts and I'm just gonna use the meat mallet to tenderize and flatten the meat into an even layer. This will help make sure it cooks evenly. You wanna flatten it until it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Once that's done, I'm gonna season both sides with kosher salt and pepper. Next, I'm gonna rub about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard all over the chicken, which will add flavor and also help the panko adhere to the chicken. Now I'm gonna place each piece top side down into the panko. And on a sheet pan, just place it panko side up over a sprig of rosemary. And I'm just gonna do this for all four pieces. The rosemary is gonna perfume the chicken as it bakes. I'm gonna bake this at 350 for 30 minutes. And ta-da! Crispy rosemary chicken with white barbecue sauce. Now the white barbecue sauce is optional, um, but I highly recommend it because it's very, it has a really nice tangy flavor to it and I think it goes really well with this chicken. So um, I have all the ingredients for the sauce listed in the description box. You just wanna mix all those together until it's well combined and then it's done. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a delicious rest of your day.